Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at classifying real numbers in the real number system. So last lesson, we just classified numbers into irrational and rational, and this is just an expansion of that. We're going to determine if a number is natural, whole, integer, rational, or irrational. So basically, we're just breaking rational numbers down more. So natural, whole, and integers are still a part of the rational numbers. It's just being a little bit more specific with them. So we are going to start from the bottom up. Let's start with natural or counting numbers. So these are positive whole counting numbers beginning with one. So you can kind of think of it like the first numbers that you learned with the kid, when you're a kid, one, two, three, and four, and everything beyond that, just all of the positive whole numbers. So here are a few examples, 10, 51.0, and 500. So natural counting numbers is one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, now we're gonna move to whole numbers. Whole numbers still include these natural and counting numbers. We just add zero to it. So whole number, or sorry, here, here it is. Whole numbers are natural numbers and zero. So zero is a whole number and then anything that is a natural number is also a whole number. So like 12 over three reduces to four. So that would be a whole number, something like square root of 81 since that equals nine. So, so far we have looked at natural numbers and then whole numbers and added zero. Now let's look at integers. The next number that we're gonna add to this is whole numbers and their opposites or negatives. So this is basically any negative whole number, so something like negative 10 or negative six over three that would simplify to negative two or negative square root of 16, which would simplify to negative four. So integers is any negative whole number or anything that simplifies to a negative whole number. Okay, and all of these numbers are rational. They just can be called something more specific than rational numbers. So let's talk about rational numbers specifically. This is what we talked about yesterday and it's numbers that can be written as fractions. It's also terminating decimals and repeating decimals. So some examples of rational numbers are negative 12.2 because that is a terminating decimal, negative two ninths since that is a fraction or a repeating decimal. So rational numbers are decimals that stop like negative 12.2, fractions like two ninths and repeating decimals. So again, integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers are still rational. We can just be a little bit more specific. Okay, then yesterday we talked about irrational numbers. Still the same as what we talked about yesterday. Um, these are numbers that cannot be written as fractions. Basically non-repeating and non-terminating decimals. So some examples are anything that include pi, so like negative four pi, square root of 10, because whenever I do the square root of 10, I don't get a whole number, or something that goes on forever with no pattern. But you will mostly see these two examples for irrational pi and square roots that equal a decimal. So over here, irrational numbers, we have pi and any square root that equals a decimal, so like 3.16. Okay, and all of the rational and irrational numbers are a part of the real number system. So the real number in system includes rational and irrational. It is any number that we've talked about. Five pi, even though it's rational, it's still 
or even though it's irrational, it is still a real number. Square root of 11, even though that is irrational, that is still a real number. And then something like a whole number would be real as well. So all rational and irrational numbers are a part of the real number system. Okay, now what we're going to practice below is just identifying if the numbers are natural, whole, integer, rational, or irrational. So number one, I have negative 18. Remember, integers are negatives that are whole numbers. So negative 18 would be an integer. Okay, next I have a negative number, but since it has a decimal, it's a terminating decimal, it cannot be an integer. Integers are only negative whole numbers. So this is rational because it is a decimal. Okay, a repeating decimal, it's not a whole number, so it can't be integer, whole, or natural. We have a repeating decimal, so that is also going to be rational. Because it is a repeating decimal. Okay, number four, same as yesterday, pi is always irrational. All right, number five. Whenever I have an expression like this, um, you can work it out. 12 plus the square root of 25 is five, which is 17. And I like to double check it in the calculator too. So 12 plus the square root of 25 is 17. And this is a whole number, a positive whole number. So that is our most basic number, which is natural. All right, number six, I have a negative square root. I need to see if the square root is a whole number or not. So I'm gonna check with the calculator. Negative square root of 45. Since I got a decimal with the square root, that makes it irrational. Even though it has the negative, the square root trumps that and it's irrational. Okay, number seven, 16 divided by two is eight. If you wanted to check it, you could another whole positive number, which is natural. Okay, number eight, zero. This is a whole number. Remember we do naturals and then we add zero with the whole numbers. Okay, number nine, square root of 99 divided by three. I'm gonna put this in the calculator, square root of 99 you have to arrow out because the divided by three is not under the radical sign. And I get a decimal and it was a square root, so this is irrational. Number 10, anything with pi in it is irrational. 11, four divided by 11, that's just a basic fraction. Basic fractions are always rational. And 12, negative, got to clear this, negative square root of 225. That equals negative 15. It is a negative whole number, so that is an integer. Okay, so just a reminder. The real number system includes all of the rational and irrational numbers that we talked about. Rational numbers include integers, whole numbers, and natural and counting numbers. These three things are still rational. We're just being a little bit more specific about it today. And then irrational numbers are kind of off on their own. They are still a part of the real number system, but they are separate from rational numbers.